In 1924, the journalism major was established through a petition by 50 students at the University of North Dakota. Since then, through the dynamic events and changes, the Department of Communication has contributed to training journalists and communicators nationally and internationally for the past 100 years. Three alumni shared their memories to reflect on the century of communication at the University of North Dakota. I, I look back at my UND years as just um, such a, a great learning experience for what I'm doing. I think what's interesting, any, any journalism or communications graduate would tell you so much of our job is knowing a little bit about a lot of things. And I remember from day one in the, what was then the journalism department back in the 80s, they said, we want you to, sure, take some of those journalism classes, but we also want you to take economics, marketing, management. Take things that are going to broaden your horizons. And I think that when I look back on my career, you know, I might get sent to an agriculture news conference one day and something to do with stocks the next day or um, I'll, I'll go to a school and learn something there. And, and I think it, it helped me that I, like, like they wanted us to do, learn a little bit about everything. So um, that was one of my favorite um, things about UND is the approach of being really well-rounded. When I think about what I got there, I think more about the ideas and ideals that the faculty communicated and my, you know, and my peers too. At each point, whether they said it this way or not, the value, the great, amazing value of curiosity was an emphasis. There was not a journalism instructor, communications instructor who didn't either model it or, or preach about it or indicate it. And that's just an invaluable state of mind for life, of course. But for a journalist, the biggest sin is to be incurious. And everybody at UND modeled, taught, emphasized, reinforced the value of curiosity. The Dakota Student Newspaper was a big project. And we always felt like we had the support and, and guidance when we needed it. Not interference, never interference but support and guidance when we needed it from the UND communications faculty. And I guess, you know, I think of, I think of my work at the Dakota Student, my, my great opportunity at the Dakota Student as a project that was encouraged, supported at times uh, when I didn't get my other work done, tolerated uh, by the UND communications faculty. In the 1940s through the 1980s, the Larry S. Slossinger Memorial Scholarship Award was established, which is given to an outstanding graduating senior each year. A communication major was first introduced by integrating the journalism and speech departments. Advertising and public relations courses started to be offered, and the Studio One was established. In the 2000s through the 2020s, eight undergraduate communication certificates and two graduate certificates started being offered. The 4 plus 1 program started. The online professional master's program launched. The in-person and online PhD program started and continued to grow. An annual alumni mentorship program and communication appreciation day started. You know, particularly I remember you know, a gentleman who was, you know, he's from Canada, this professor who, who drove down, you know, multiple days a week to teach his courses. And he was an advertising, you know, communications professor, and he was really great. I had some awesome professors who taught, you know, intro to media writing and some of the journalism courses. And even within public relations, you know, someone who always had us working on projects kind of out in the community and also on campus. And so she really wanted to make sure that we got as much kind of real world experience as we could. So once we got into the, into the you know, working world, we, we had some of that stuff to fall back on. Today, as we celebrate the department's 100th anniversary, we are thrilled to bring back the journalism degree. We look forward to cultivating the next generation of leaders in the coming years.